In this video, we are going to now open FileMaker Go on our iPad by tapping the icon. And we are going to now access the RVU Review database since we already have it set up on our iPad. Under Recent Files, you'll see a purplish icon next to RVU Review. We'll tap it once and enter in your account name and password. In this case, in our example, we're using Dr. John Public again. And Dr. John's public, Dr. John Public's password is public with a capital P. Tap the blue Go button. And FileMaker Go is accessing the RVU Review database on our server. Give it a moment. And here we go. We're at the home page of RVU Review for Dr. John Public. And a couple points of interest on this page. The large center box where you see thank you for taking RVU Review for a test drive is a splash screen that we can put information in here regarding any maintenance issues we're having with our database, any enhancements we've made that we want to point out to you. So keep your eye on this area. There may be information in there that's valuable to you. On the far left hand side of the screen, you'll see some numbers. The first column is the year and month, and the second column are the grand total RVUs that are that have been tabulated for those months. There'll be 13 months maximum displayed over here, basically your last year plus a month. So for example, the first line is uh, April of 2013. You can look here on this screen and see quickly that you performed 153.28 work RVUs based on the data that you've entered for that month and year. Let's go look at the our date log of dates that we have entered data for for Dr. John Public. So tap the date log button and as you can see we've entered you know a dozen or so dates of CPT codes for Dr. John Public's performance. Uh, let's go look at a single date that we've already entered. Let's choose the first one, April 20th of 2013. Tap the area where it says enter or edit data for this date. Uh, we can see that, that there have been five CPT codes of different quantities and you can see that we have displayed the work RVU value and the subtotal and the grand total for this date is in the box in the upper menu bar to the left of the date and you can see that for this date Dr. John Public has performed 111.51 work RVUs. Let's tap the back to log button and let's enter a brand new date for Dr. John Public. In the upper left hand corner you'll see a calendar with a green plus sign. Tap it once and the very first line in our log will not have a date yet. This is a blank date. So let's tap the area where it says enter or edit date for this date. Data for this date, excuse me. And now we're on a blank screen. The first thing we need to do is assign a date to this. So in the yellow box under Dr. John Public's name tap that once and our scroll wheel comes up to assign a date to this. Let's pick a date of September 22nd and as you can see the date fills in that date box. Tap outside somewhere to get rid of the scroll wheel and there we are Sunday September 22nd 2013. Uh, tap the field right under where it says CPT code and we can enter in as many CPT codes as we'd like. Right now let's enter in say three that we may have done on this date. So I'm going to enter in let's say 31580. The next key essentially works like the tab key on a standard keyboard. 
I'm going to tap next and it takes me to the quantity field. Uh, by default this is one. I'm going to say that I did three of those CPT codes. I'm going to hit next again. It takes me down to the next entry level. You can see the long description for that procedure for that CPT code. You can see the work RVU value of 14.66 and the subtotal of 43.98. I'm going to add a second code. I'm going to add 31582. Hit the next key. I'm going to say I did five of those and hit the next key again. And let's just put in one more. I'm going to type in 99215, the next key. I did six of those and the next key. So as you can see, you've got the CPT code, the quantity you did, the description of it, the work RVU value, and the subtotal all on the same line. There's a field on the upper menu bar just to the left of our date. That's our grand total field. I can see for this date, I've done 172.74 work RVUs. I'm happy with this. I want to go back to my log. And there we are. It is in that list of date logs. Let's hit the home button. And our next button is reports. Let's tap it. And I want a list of CPT codes that I've done for the month of August of 2013. So in the first box, I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to go to August 1st. I'm going to put my date range essentially in. I'm going to select August 1st, tap outside anywhere to get rid of the scroll wheel. Now I'll tap in the second box. Let's put in... August 31st, tap outside to remove that scroll wheel. Let's hit the update key. And there we go. I can see that I've done four different CPT code procedures. My quantities are there. My subtotal is there. And then my grand total is at the bottom. I can print this screen or I can just use it for purposes of finding out how many work RVUs I've done in any time period based on the data that I've entered. Uh, say, for example, I need to have a grand total of my work RVUs for an entire year. And let's say it's for a calendar year. I put January 1st in the first box, and of course December 31st in the second box, and I'd have my summary report. Let's go up and hit the Home button. Take us back to our home page. Um, I want to confirm what a code is before I use it. Um, I'm going to make sure that the description fits the code I want to use. So let's type the CPT code search. And let's, I want to see the description for the code 31580. I can either find it on my scroll wheel just by scrolling that, or it may be quicker for you just to type it. I'm going to type it in, 31580. I'm going to tap outside the area to get rid of that scroll wheel, and we'll hit the Update button. I can see now the description for this CPT code and the work RVUs that are associated with it. This is just for informational purposes. Let's go up and hit the Home button again. And lastly, let's hit the Tech Support button. And this is information for you to use if you have any suggestions to the RVU Review database. We'd love to hear them. You can email us with that email address. Or if you have any questions or find something awkward to use that you need some help uh, doing, please email us at our help email address. Um, if you'd like to go to our website, the lower right-hand corner, there's an RVU Review dot com button. You can go directly to our website from here. Um, and basically that's it. We're done with this tutorial. I'm going to go up and hit the quit button in the upper right hand corner.
going to confirm if I want to quit or not. I'm going to say yes. And we're done. You um, can now hit your home button to close out of FileMaker Go.